Welcome views welcome to Pop Juice America where we bring to you the latest trust and reliable information. Now Trump is openly challenging the feds to indict. Before I continue if you are new to my channel line, I encourage you to hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so you will always be the first to get the latest information. After looking Donald Trump's lower back to lower back rallies this weekend, one in Nevada and every other in Arizona, it is difficult to get away the concept that he ought to need to be prosecuted. It's unattainable that everyone who's below research through the FBI might say the matters he stated if he didn't. Of course, maximum observers will honestly say that it is the same old Trump hyperbole, supposed to persuade his fans of his innocence however he is with inside the maw of the crook justice gadget now, and it does not paintings that way. Trump's walking observation ought to have the management of the Department of Justice asking themselves if there might be nevertheless be one of these elements as the guideline of thumb of regulation, if he receives away with it. We found out more than one weeks in the past that Trump's maximum in a position attorney, Christopher Kyes, who he paid $3 million up front, that's exceptionally uncharacteristic, turned into advising him to close his mouth and begin considering methods to barter with the Dodge concerning the stolen files. The Washington Post reported. Justice Department officers might listen a former president out, even though he'd stolen severa categorized files, due to the political sensitivity of the case, even though a mean American stuck doing something like that might get the e-book thrown at them. In fact, federal prosecutors and the FBI have already treated Trump with immoderate delicacy, first asking civilly for months for him to go back the materials, then resorting to a subpoena, once they suspected he had lied to them, which might additionally land a normal citizen at the back of bars, and ultimately having to reap a seek warrant to reclaim the authorities' files he'd taken to Mar-a-Lago. I accept as true with that Donald Trump is actually the handiest man or woman in America, who might be dealt with with such child gloves. Nonetheless, the person who has led countless lock her up, chants approximately Hillary Clinton, and instructed her all through a presidential debate that if he have become president, you'll be in jail, is now whining like an injured infant that he is being unfairly persecuted. He is likewise admitting to committing crimes. After complaining that the FBI or the National Archives had planted files in his stash, claiming that Bill Clinton absconded with White House recordings through placing them in his socks, and bizarrely asserting that George H. W. Bush concealed categorized data in a Chinese restaurant and or bowling alley, he says that what he did turned into now no longer a crime.